Hi, I'm Paul, the Gin Guy, and today we will be reviewing Needle Black Forest Distilled Dry Gin. Let's get going. When it comes to distilled spirits, Germany has a very long and rich history. And it's no surprise that there are some good gins coming out of the local German distilleries. And today we have a special one from a town of Aachen in the west of Germany, which is very close to the world famous Black Forest, or Schwarzwald as they call it in German. At 40% ABV or alcohol by volume, Needle Gin comes in a rather small half a liter bottle as opposed to the standard 0.75 or bigger offerings. But despite its size, it's packed with the botanicals, and they include juniper, lavender, ginger, lemons and oranges, allspice, cinnamon, and hand-picked spruce needles. Which, the last one is honestly very interesting, because this is something that I think the manufacturers intended to put to take us onto a journey through the Black Forest. And speaking of the bottle design, when you take a closer look at the bottle itself, you can see multiple references to its place of origin, starting from this very dark and deep green color to the images of spruce all over the bottle. And even the plastic wrapping on the top of the bottle, it has images of the spruce trees. The stopper is made of real wood to add to the character of the gin. The diamond shape of the logo is also a reference to the shape of a forest grid. And on the back of the bottle you can see their motto. All you need is needle. I would honestly argue with it, but maybe after tasting this gin, we will see if this is indeed all you need in your life. Oof, nice, and it came out. Wow, the stopper does smell like it's made out of a pine tree. Mm. Nice, so let's pour some. It does, on the nose, it does smell ethanol but you do get some dampness, if you will. Despite being 40% ABV, it's really smooth. You can taste that piney note, but it's not very pronounced. It's just like a slight hint somewhere in the back of your mouth, you can... You can literally taste the forest. I do think that they did a really good job at distilling the character of the forest into this gin. The smell of the ethanol was strong, but you don't really notice its taste. And also after that piney aftertaste disappears, you could taste some citrusy notes because, well, they have um, oranges and lemons in it. It kind of lingers in the back of your tongue. And I, I do like the smell of this cork. If you if you give it a good sniff, you pine. Pine, you definitely smell the pine. And just makes me kind of want to go out and have this gin in the, in the proper forest. So the water is up next. And I'm using 60 ml of gin and some Tiger soda water. The taste of ethanol is definitely gone. But the pine really comes forward. It doesn't explode in your mouth like you would expect. Like when you read uh, when you read the list of the botanicals, you see pine and you assume that it will be just packed with pine and nothing else. But in this case, you taste the pine, it's very subtle. It does taste like a walk in the forest. There is some flowery aftertaste. It's probably because they put the lavender in it. As for the other botanicals, they do complement each other, but I cannot really detect and isolate them one by one. And the last but not least is the tonic water. Let's drop the ice cube in, pour 60 ml of gin and top it up with some fever tree tonic water. On the nose that pine is still there. So the tonic does, did not kill it completely. This is not a bad one. You do still taste pine and, of course, because of tonic, the other more refined botanicals are gone. But think about it, if it was such a thing as pine bitters, or maybe there is such a thing as pine bitters, I just don't know about it. 
It's gin and tonic with a splash of pine. It's really nice. So, we tried this gin neat with the soda water and with the tonic water. And honestly, I am a bit baffled uh, because I don't have a clear winner here. It doesn't really matter which option of consuming this gin you choose. It will taste great regardless. If you like hard liquor on the rocks or just neat, you will taste most of the botanicals in this gin. When it comes to the soda water, pine really comes forward and also you have that lingering aftertaste of citrus, uh, citrus and flowery notes. And with the tonic water, it's just a very good gin and tonic with a splash of pine added on top of it. So, there you have it. This has been Needle Black Forest Distilled Dry Gin. And please, consider subscribing to our channel for more gin goodness. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!